why this home has been on the market for 200 days. 200 days on the market. One acre custom homes are highly desirable homes. No HOA. They may be trying to save some money by not doing the land stake, but in my opinion, hey, you, you want this thing showing at its best because you never know when someone is going to pop up to show the property. Marble floors, 24 inch tiles, this way, or we could go this way. We're gonna start off this way. Kitchen and the great room. Impressive. Quartz countertops. Decent amount of countertop space. I like the blingy bling bling. I don't know if you could tell, but that quartz countertop is moving. I like in these upgraded cabinets, drawers, So here is our range. I think that they dropped the ball here. Custom home. We have electric flat top stove with the oven. I mean, that is enormous ball drop so we have our um dishwasher here no fridge so you're going to have a standard size fridge <sighs> i don't even see a built-in microwave you will have to bring a uh, microwave and sit that microwave on the counter and with all this luxuriousness that surround I don't want a microwave sitting on my counter. Walk-in pantry. Nice. Nice, very nice. So there's a lot of things right about this home, but there are a couple ball drops. Really nice lighting. The custom home, luxury, I want an epoxy floor. So I think that in some cases, what people have to realize, like, instead of cheaping it in places, just get it done and charge more. Tell me what y'all think about that. Get it done and charge more. I'm not telling you to throw in these extra things and not get paid for it. You know, no one's putting in extra stuff for free. I'm just saying, Get it done. Three car garage. And then we have a nice little store, nice storage area. This is a vacuum cleaner. So you will have a vacuum that, uh, that you can utilize in every room. Help me find it. For you. Do a seat, a dresser, or some type of, you know, elegant display, picture, whatnot, there. 
So we got four bedrooms, three and a half baths to look at. This is our laundry room. Cabinets up top. Kind of a small laundry room. 3,012 square feet, so keep that in mind. So these are our bedrooms that we're coming up on. And I'm not gonna to go to that, to that room right now because that is the owner suite. So bathroom number one. Very nice. Single sink vanity. So this is a guest bathroom. This is the bathroom that more than likely your guest <laughs> will be using. Bedroom number one. If that is a vacuum, which I'm not certain that it's a vacuum anymore. If that is a vacuum, I'm starting to think what a waste because right, we got marble everywhere. There's no carpet. So there's no need for a vacuum. Walk-in closet for your guests. Teenagers, which are your guests. There it is right here. Vacuum. So you can pull this out theoretically and vacuum throughout the house. Don't give me the vacuum cleaner. Give me a gourmet kitchen. Give me a gourmet. We got marble floors everywhere. We don't need a vacuum. Bedroom number two. These floors are blingy, bling, bling. I'm talking about it, but I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Another walk-in closet for our guests. These are decent sized bedrooms. Not crazy big. And this one has even a mother-in-law suite. Bathroom number two. Here's my cutout. So even here, give me the contrast on the cutout. Instead of doing the same, the cutout right there, I want that floor as my backsplash, or even here, as the backsplash to cut that out. Just those little things. I know that doing that little thing that I'm talking about is probably a little extra work. So it's two, ba two bathrooms, I think in three bedrooms, I think we're supposed to have three and a half baths. So I don't know where that other bath, did I miss it? Can y'all see, you can't see why I got excited though from the pictures because I thought that we were going to see that house.
double sink vanity. Big mirror. What I think of this bathroom when I walk in is small. There's your floor. Bed. It did it different there. Let's run it to the ceiling. With luxury. Nice shower head. I need a rain head. I need some wands. Beautiful tub. When I walk in here, the first thing that comes to mind is that it's small. I'm, I'm let down. It's sort of a let down. So. That's it for the walk-in closet. Unless, please tell me there's another walk-in closet. We've seen homes that have two walk-in closets that look like that. So I think I'm missing a, a bathroom somewhere. Is this it? Yes, this is the half bath. So this is where your guests will come. So this is 3,012 square foot. And I think that the square foot is used to such a waste of space. I've seen smaller homes that had more oh, to it. So let me give you the price. Since you brought up price. The price of this home is $895,000. That's what made me race over here. I'm like, well, we got us one under a meal. Private, private. You know, open those doors up. Outdoor, indoor living. Get that tree out of here. I want both of those trees out of here. Enormous lot. We'll start on this side. This is the rear of the home. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. This one, you could very easily put a go-kart track at the, in the home. But you're talking built-in trampoline, gazebo. Uh, pool, pool house, guest house. Bankroll in your imagination is the limits. This is an up and coming community. Over here are a bunch of horse properties. Um, folks that have been here for a very long time. So while this is a completely modern home, your neighbors may not be as modern. No HOA. On a scale of one to 10, 10 being the best, what do I rate this home? The floors are beautiful. I thought that for $8.95, it was worth it. However, I had an expectation that was not met. $895,000, I think that this home is worth $895,000 because we're sitting on an acre of land. However, with that being said, I think that the person that would, the Pilates client person that's interested in what is being shown here, it, it, it's let down by things like not having a gourmet kitchen, microwave, a bigger closet, a bigger bathroom for the owner suite. And what do I rate this home? I rate it a five. I rate this gorgeous, beautiful home a five. Tell me what you guys rate it. Tell me if you guys think I'm being a little harsh. Just tell me what you guys think of it. I feel so deceived. You know what the first thing that I thought when I pulled up? I was thinking, am I gonna be able to uh, get up in here? Because I just assumed that this was power. I look right here, I'm like, is there a box? Cause I didn't have a code and even though it's not power. I mean, listen, I think 895 is cheap, but I was deceived 
I was expecting something totally different. I was expecting power and this. And maybe I could even have gotten past the dirt road. Although a dirt road is tough for me. Even that road right there, you see how you turn in on this block and then you turn and come down here. When I go out here and make that turn to get out of here, that's a dirt road. And then to turn back and come down this that road to get to that main street, that's a dirt road. It's all dirt road in here. I'm not saying that any of this stuff is bad. I'm saying that I was deceived. Advertise this as a horse property. Then you have a different person come out here looking at it. But when you show me marble floors and invite me in, 14 foot ceilings. And I thought luxury. Anyway, I'm over now. This your man, Big Super. Sydney will burn your Arizona realtor, Mr. Arizona. If you're looking to buy or sell, I'm your man. You will see my contact information throughout this video at the bottom of the screen. Or go into the description box and you'll get my contact information as well. Over and out. I'm going to see y'all in the next video.